ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿಮಿರಾಂದ ಸೋಂ ನಮ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮ ಭಗವತಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಅಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಿಮಿರಾಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಸಲಕಾಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ನಿಮಿಲೆ ತಂದೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭೀಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಜನಭೂತಲೆ ಸೋಯಂ ರೂಪಕ ದಾಮಹ್ಯಂ ದಾತಿ ಸೋಪದಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಯುತ ಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀಗುರುನ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವನ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರಜಾತ ಸಗನ ಶಿ ರಘುನಾಥ ವಿತಂ ತಂ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪದನ್ ಸಗನ ರಿಥಾಂ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಂತ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣಾ ಸಿಂಧು ದೀನ ಬಂಧು ಜಗತ್ಪತೆ ಗೋಪೀಶ್ಚ ಗೋಪಿಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗೀ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಾಭಾನುಸುತ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಬಾಂಕಲ್ಪತುರಿಭಾಶ್ಚ ಕೃಪ ಸಿಂಧುವೈವ ಪತೀತ ಪಾವನಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವ್ಯ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಮ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮೀತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ So thank you very much for watching. Today we are going to discuss about very very important subject matter that how to become deathless by simple process of hearing Krishna Katha, Hari Katha, Amrita. So this is explained in Bhagavatam that the process of how to become deathless. So uh, actual the Shastras, the injunction of the Shastras there says that Muttayama Amrita Gamaya the purpose of human form of life to become deathless to come to the platform of deathlessness asad ba sad gamaya from a temporary to permanent position tamasima jyotir gamaya tamasima means darkness to come out from the darkness come to the jyotir means light knowledge so this is the injunction of shastra for every human form of life everybody should endeavor to come to become deathlessness so because death is very unpleasant it takes away everything all our possession positions assets association death is also very painful although we do not it, it is imperceptible to think our stomach the death but it is very imperceptibly relenting relentlessly approaching us therefore every human being the shastra the bhagavatam say every human being must endeavor to conquer the death punar janma jayayo so therefore today's beautiful verses is uh, today we will going to learn the beautiful verses about this how to conquer the death how to become uh, becoming deathlessness this is a beautiful verses from the bhagavatam bhagavatam is spoken uh, in in the assembly of uh, great sages uh, by parikit maharaj by sukadev goswami to parikit maharaj parikit maharaj was a king is a death bound king he was caused to die so sukadev goswami is giving the young devotee of the lord sukadev goswami is giving the formula to how to become deathlessness So today we are going to learn that how the Bhagavatam is evolved on this point when Sukadev Goswami is uh, when Parikit Maharaj the death bound king approaching a young devotee Par- Sukadev Goswami to know the formula how to become deathlessness simply by process of hearing so today this beautiful verse we can learn that how uh, it is uh, it is stated very nicely nakasin mriyate tabat ಯಾವದ್ ಆಸ್ತ ಇಹಾಂತಕ ಏತದರ್ಥಂ ಹಿ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆಹುತ ಪರಮಸ್ ಪರಮರ್ಷಿ ಓಹೋ ಅಹೋ ನಿಲ್ಲೋಕೆ ಪ್ರಿಯತ ಹರಿ ಲೀಲಾಮೃತ ಬಾಚ ಆಹೋ ನಿಲ್ಲಕೆ ಪ್ರಿಯತ ಹರಿ ಲೀಲಾಮೃತ ಬಾಚ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಎಸ್ ಯಮರಾಜ್ ಹೂ ಕಜಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಡೇತ್ ಯಮರಾಜ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರಿಟೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅಪ್ ಡೇತ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ ಮೀಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಡೇತ್ the great sages have invited the controller of death emaraj who is the representative of the lord living beings who are under very important at this point living being who are under his grip 
should take advantages of hearing the deathless nectar in the form of this narration of transcendental past time of the lord very very important so the living beings the process has been given here the process is that one must hear the deathless nectar the nectar of krishna katha lila amruta lila hari amruta vacha piyate piyate means you drink you hear the lila amruta means krishna katha by krishna katha hearing one can become deathlessness nobody wants to die one may say i am not afraid of die death but he is he is speaking lie because everybody fear here i mean fears death everybody fears death that is obnoxious principal misery nobody wants to die therefore we must know the formula of becoming deathlessness particularly it is say that nilloke human form of life because in other species of life there is no advantages as here it is say that one should take advantages the human form of life should take advantages because in other form of life other species of life there is no privilege there is no prerogative to take the advantages of hearing krishna katha we cannot invite here a animal a tiger or a cat or a, or, a, or a dog to hear krishna katha and become deathless no human form of life we can invite because they have been endowed the intelligence the sufficient intelligence a special prerogative special prerogative privilege to understand or hear krishna katha if you do not hear krishna katha means or we do not endeavor to become deathless that means we are losing this opportunity of human form of life we are misusing that that is shastra says that even krishna says uh, first of all let us know that why it is important to uh, become uh, deathlessness is shastra is very uh, very uh, to the point in in brihad aranyaka upanishad it is stated that asotama sad gamaya tomosama jatir gamaya mrityama amrita gamaya this is upanishad this vedas lead from untruth to truth lead from darkness to light lead me from death to immortality that is the purpose of human form of life that is the purpose that we have been we have got this advantages of human form of life on truth what is this on truth on truth is that we are this body we are going to live eternally no death will enforce upon us which will murtu sarvaras chaham which will take away all our so called material plan quoted unquoted will be destroyed will be abrupted despite our tenacious determination to stay in this material temporary home we will be rejected very ruthlessly rashly by the death so therefore it is imperative incumbent upon the human form of life to find the solution to how to become deathless therefore the upanishad or vedas say that murtama amrita gamaya asadama sad gamaya you are in untruth platform your problem that our problem that we have turned away from the lord therefore we have been put in asad gamaya asad platform we are in tamasima in darkness we are in death platform a temporary platform of existence that is our main problem it is stated in this beautiful verses we will come back here but first let us know that that what happened why we are in this hitvat hitvatmamaya rachita grihapatya sui striya tam abhisanti achintan anishanta vasudeva paranmukha vasudeva paranmukha we have turn away our face from the vasudeva krishna therefore we are in a very asad platform those who have turned away from the supreme lord vasudeva being under the spell of lord's illusory energy maya are eventually forced to give up their so called homes children friends wives lovers which were all created by illusory potency of supreme lord and enter again their will into darkest region of universe that is called asadama sadgamaya this is called darkness that is called 
what is which is called um, uh, tamasama we are have been put into a darkness in a untruth platform in a temporary in a death platform murtu loko this is called murtu loko material world is called murtu loko padam padam yad bi padam it is called murtu loko kuntha always anxiety of death so therefore our imperative our purpose is first of all let us know our purpose then we can go to a doctor first of all we know what is our disease then we can go to a physician and address our disease accordingly the physician or the doctor will administer the uh, medicine to cure our disease so that our disease is we have thrown away from the lord we are in in this is very precarious condition we are in darkness we are in uh, death platform we are in a very uh, what we say uh, untruth platform so how to get out that is the question now so now the doctor says that yes you hear krishna katha because your precarious condition you must know this is a very disease condition the death is not pleasing it is say that you don't care for death i am not afraid of death this is very childish propas was very strong word it is called rascal dumb propas used the word very very strong word actually it is very childish because death is not so easy things it is very very unpleasant it is stated in this beautiful verses of bhagavatam that uh, that my dear king in the material world the conditioned soul are confronted by death every step of life we don't know ahani ahani butani gachhantiya jamala every step every moment we read in newspaper obituary the death therefore who among the conditioned soul would not render service to the lotus feet of lord mukund who is worshipable even for the greatest liberators so we are conditioned soul we are every step we are confronting the death and death is not pleasant it doesn't say that no there is no death i am i'm happy i am very very good position no any time it comes every step shastra say every step you are confronted at the death we do not know that there no notice period parikit maharaj got the notice period of 7 days but we do not have that privilege of knowing in advance and death is not pleasing so he said that konu attha sukhayata enam kamba murtur antike see here it is say that death is not at all pleasing since everyone is exactly like a condemned man being led to the place of execution what possible happiness can people derive from material object of gratification they provide we are oblivion we are thinking i am happy i am munching the grass but they do not know just like in a slaughter house animal is munching the grass but he does not know that he is in a death queue he is going to be slaughtered he is condemned to be slaughtered so in the material existence is so precarious so uh, what do you say obnoxious that we are condemned to die at any moment at any moment we are condemned to die then what is possible happiness so called happiness quoted unquoted is just a maya illusion magical spell of maya therefore we must get enlightened तमसीमा ज्योतिर्गमाय असदमा सदगमाय मृत्युमा अमृत गमाय वी मस्ट गेट एन लाइट एन टू काउंटरैक्ट दिस डेथ काउंटरैक्ट दिस प्रिकारियस कंडीशन एंड इन ए ब्यूटिफुल वर्सेस इट इज स्टेटेड दैट डेथ इज नॉट ओनली अनप्रेजेंट इट इज वेरी वेरी पेनफुल एस्टिमरी पेनफुल इट इज स्टेटेड इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल वर्सेस द डेमीगर्स इज टेलिंग टू वृतासुर O oh, L is a Brita Sir telling to uh, demigod. Um, o oh, elevated demigods at the time of day, severe unbearable pain takes away the consciousness of all living entity who have accepted the material body. Don't you know about this pain? Brita Sir, the Chitra Ketu was caused to become Brita Sir. He is preaching the demigods that uh, O oh, elevated demigods at the time of day, severe unbearable pain takes away the consciousness of living entity who have accepted this material body. don't you know about this pain it is very precarious excruciatingly painful we are just oblivious we don't care we don't want to think of that many people have under impression we should not talk about the death 
but bhagavatam is evolved the our scripture is started with on this point mustama amrutagamaya the bhagavatam is evolved on this point bhagavad gita is evolved on this point when arjuna was was uh, was reluctant to fight because he does not want to kill his kinsmen therefore he is he does not want to fight he doesn't want to fight to engage in fighting Bhagavatam is evolved in the point of that when Sukadev Goswami was caught and he is asking this question, beautiful question he is asking to Sukadev Goswami that what is the question that Mriyamanam Sarvata Yat Karyam Purushasya Yat Karyam Mriyamanasya Sarvata This beautiful question that is the evolution of Bhagavatam. You are spiritual master, great sin devotee. I am therefore begging you to show the way of perfection for all person. And especially for, for one who is about to die. So we are all about to die. We do not know. Every moment we are dying. We are just oblivion. About the imperceptible approach of death. We are simply oblivion. We are in a death queue. Shastra is saying you are in a death queue. We all are in death queue. Shastra says that Ayur Harati Bhai Pun Saam Uddyam Astam Chanya Se It's a beautiful verse, 2317. Ayur Harati Bhai Pun Saam Uddyam Astam Chanya So Das Chathe Yat Ghana Nita Uttam Sloko Bhattaya The beautiful verses from Srimad Bhagavatam. Both by rising and by setting the sun decreases the duration of life of everyone except one who utilizes the time by discussing the topics of all good personality of Godhead. So it is said that by rising and by setting sun, sun has, sun is plundering our duration of life. Every moment, every moment, every sunrise, proper purport is that this verse indirectly confirmed the greater importance of utilizing human form of life to realize our lost relationship with Supreme Lord by acceleration of devotional service. Time and tide wait for no man. So the time indicated by sunrise, sunset will be uselessly wasted if such time is not properly utilized for realizing the identification of spiritual power. Spiritual value. Even a fraction of duration of life wasted cannot be compensated by the gold. That is Janaka Pandit saying. So Prabhupada is saying that this human form of life particularly the greater important because we must understand that every sunrise and sunset, the sun is plundering taking away our duration of life. Tomorrow sunrise we are going to reduce one day of our life. That means we are in a death queue and we are forwarding towards death every day, every moment. That is to be understood. And that is understood only human form of life. That is a very important point because any other form cannot understand. This is very also explained very nicely that why this particular human form of life, Nilloke, Hari Katham Piyate Nilloke Hari Katham Vritam Hari Lilam Vritam Krishna Katham Vritam Why particularly Nilloke means human form of life? Because this human form of life is very important. Krishna says that. Uh, in this beautiful verse, there are two beautiful verses in this regard. Krishna said in uh, the Supreme Personality of God is expanding his own potency, Maya Sakti created innumerable species of life to house conditioned soul. Yet by creating the forms, trees, reptiles, animals, birds, snakes, no one Lord was not satisfied within the heart. Then he created human life which offers the conditioned soul sufficient intelligent to perceive the absolute truth and become pleased. So after creating all species of life to accommodate all the conditioned soul because they wanted to turn away from the Lord, just like a government want to create many type of jails, many type of inside jails, so many cells, according to the uh, you know, severity of the uh, crime. Similarly, Lord has created many species of life according to our uh, criminality. Criminality of uh, going away, turning away from the Lord. But he was not pleased. He was not pleased because in other species of life, they do not have advantages. They, should, they go according to the nature law. They have to evolve 8.4 million species of life. They should go through the evolutionary process of millions of life to come to the point of a human, human form of life to, to take the advantages of understanding the importance of human form of life. 
the prioritization of human form of life to get out from the death platform. Mrtuma amrita gamar, unbecoming deathless. Therefore, this human form of life is very, very privileged to us. We should not misutilize it. It's pleased. This is very nicely spoken. God has specially created human form of life to facilitate the liberation of the conditioned soul. Therefore, one who abuses the human of life prepares his path to hell, as stated in Vedas, Purusatte Chavistaram Atma. The hum, in the human form of life, there is a good possibility of, of understanding the eternal soul. The Vedas also, Vedas also state very nice words. This one, this is Smriti Mantra. That such as cow, the other form of life, such as cow or horse, are not actually suitable to fulfill the purpose of creation. But human life award the opportunity to understand one eternal relationship with God. Therefore, one takes to Krishna consciousness to become deathlessness. As soon as we begin Krishna consciousness, we stop our death. We stop our death. And Krishna consciousness means hearing the Krishna Katha, hearing and glorifying the Krishna Katha. Therefore, it is said that Uttama Sulka Bhattai, only person who is always hearing and glorifying the Krishna Katha, the topics about Krishna, the transcendental glories about the Krishna, pastime, name, and so on and so forth, he is immune. The son cannot take away. Son fails to take away his duration of life. This another verses is there which is say that uh, Krishna is very important, very after creating the human form of life, uh, the 11, 7 something is there. The beautiful 11 and 7, 22, the beautiful verses is there. It is say that uh, Uddhava, he sp spoke to Uddhava that in this world there are so many, um, there, are, there, are, there are many kind of created bodies. There are many kind of created bodies. Some with one leg, others with two, three, four more legs, still others with no leg. But all these human form of life is actually dear to me. This is very dear to Krishna because this human form of life, Krishna wanted us to get back to him. We are just like a rebellious son. We have turned away from the Lord. We are like a rebellious son who turned away, but father is affectionate. He wanted us to get back to him more than why we desire to go back. Therefore, he is very happy by creating human form of life because it has advantages. It has advantages of understanding the human form of life. Prioritize it. Take the advantages and become Krishna consciousness by hearing Krishna Katha. That is very, very important things. How Shastra is so beautifully... Uh, yeah. Sometimes some people may ask the question, Sir, devotees also die, those who are in Krishna consciousness. And non devotees are dying. What is the difference? The difference is very nicely spoken by the Prabhupada. That this example is given when a cat is catching a rat in the mouth. The cat is catching this uh, cub, his child, in his mouth. There is a difference. The rat is telling, Chi Chi Chi, oh, it's a death, it's fried, frightened, and he's going to be die. But when the, when the same cat is holding or catching the, his child cub, cub means the child of the cat is called cub, in his mouth, the cub is very, very happy, very joy, mew, 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 he is telling. The process is same. He is catching both of the things in the mouth. But there is a difference of feeling. This is what death may come to the devotee. When it comes to non-devotee, they are very frightened. It is stated in this verse. When non-devotee, those who are not Krishna consciousness, they are so much adamant, I don't care for the death, I don't care for the Krishna Katha, I don't care for the Krishna consciousness. When death comes, how they behave. There is a beautiful verse. Bhagavatam is everything in Bhagavatam. You don't need to uh, study anything beyond Bhagavatam. Our knowledge, Prabhupada say, our knowledge is up to Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam has got everything. Materialistic are generally very attached to their present bodily compass. To the bodily compass they expect in the future. Therefore, they are always absurd in the thought of their wives, children, wealth, are afraid of giving up their body. Which are full of stools and urine. If a person engages in Krishna consciousness, however, is afraid of giving up this body, what is the use of 
his having labored to study the Shastra, it was simply a waste of time. So here it is said that the, those who are not Krishna consciousness, they are so much attached to their wives, children, they are frightened to give up their body. Just like a you know, cat is uh, catching a rat, a rat wanted to go away, he doesn't want to be die. He wanted to go away, get away, sneak away from the mouth. But he could not. Nobody could. But on the other hand, a devotee, he will not be afraid. He really a genuine devotee. Genuinely he is studying Shastra, Krishna consciousness, hearing Krishna Katha. He won't be afraid because he knows that after death he is going to the family of Krishna, Vaikuntha, Yad Gattva Nanirbhanta, Tad Dhamam Paramam Bhava. So he knows that I am going to Krishna Kansa, I am going to Janma Karma Chame Divyam Evam Jo Janati Tattva Takta Deham Punar Janma Nayati Mame Thi Sarjana. So Krishna says that, who knows, who hears my transcendental activity, who understands, he knows my transcendental activities, my, my transcendental birth, he will not take birth again, he will come back to me. Therefore they do not fear, it is stated also in Bhagavatam, that how these devotees, they do not care. The beautiful verses. The devotee worship you as the shelter of all being disregarded. The devotee disregard. They don't care. Place their feet on his head. But with the word of bathers, you bind the non-devotee like animals. Though they be vastly learned scholar, it is your affectionate devotee who can purify themselves and others. Not those who are inimical to you. That is the catch. Those who are devotees, they can easily, you know, disregard death and place their feet on the death and go to Vaikuntha. On the other hand, non-devotee, you bind them. Whether they are a learned scholars in the material calculation, but for your affectionate devotee, they are very immune to death. Therefore, Krishna consciousness is so important. Hearing Krishna Katha is very important. It will, it will make us deathless. It will make us deathless. Therefore, the, in the in the, Naimas, in, the, in, in, in the place where the Sukadev Sukratala, where Sukadev Goswami is speaking to the uh, speaking to um, Parikit Maharaj, they are inviting the superintendent of death, Yamaraj. So Yamaraj will have no jurisdiction for a devotee who is hearing Krishna Katha. Who is hearing Krishna Katha? This is stated in these verses, these beautiful verses. No jurisdiction. The 1095, this beautiful uh, verse, you can read the Sanskrit also. Matya stayanu savam edhitaya mukunda srimat kathasra vana kirtana chintayati tadhama dustara kirtanta javha papa vargam gramad vanam Kisti bhujapi Beautiful verses. By regular hearing and chanting, meditating on the beautiful topics of Lord Mukunda, with ever increasing sensuality, a mortal wing will attain the divine kingdom of the Lord. Where the inviolable invoy, power of death holds no sway, there is no jurisdiction of the Jamaraj. For this purpose, many persons, including great kings, abandoned their mundane homes, took to the forest. The process is simple process, Sravanam Kirtanam. Dhyanam. Simply by process of hearing Krishna Katha, glorifying Krishna Katha, meditating on Krishna Katha, so one can easily, easily uh, avoid the death. One can easily come to the platform of deathless and go back to Godhead. So that is the beautiful verses from the tenth canto. That how is this important of hearing and chanting. That is stated in this beautiful in, in, in this beautiful verses also. That uh, it's a beautiful verses here that uh, is stated also. So this is the verses stated in the same chapter that how this uh, hearing is very important. 
very important for the Prabhupada always got Nirbhitate se rupa giya mana bhava sudo sutra mano viramat kautam sloka gunan batat Puman virajate vina pasugana Puman virajate vina pasugana Glorification of Supreme Lord uh, Supreme Personality of God it is performed in the Parampara system that is, is conveyed from spiritual master to disciple such glorification is released by those no longer interested in the false temporary glorification of cosmic manifestation description of the Lord as the right medicine for the conditioned soul undergoing repeated birth and death therefore who will see hearing such glorification of the Lord except the butcher or one who is killing the own self who is going to stop who is going not to hear this Krishna Katha Unless he is wanted to spiritual suicide, wanted to kill his soul himself. Because this is the right medicine. Bhava sudo sutra manovi raman. Bhava sudo bhava means repeated birth and death. Bhava sudo bhava means repeated birth and death. Osudo means medicine. This is the medicine. We have got the disease. We understood that we have this got the disease now. We are in disease condition. We are in a platform of murtu loko. We are in murtu loko, disease condition. We are in darkness, we are in untruth, asad platform. Tamasima, we are in darkness, we are in murtu, material platform, death platform. So this is the medicine. Bhagavatam is the, Bhagavatam is the doctor, prescription by the doctor, the sages, the Krishna himself, the great sages like Vasudev, incarnation of the Godhead. He is prescribing, Sukadev Goswami, the doctor, he is prescribing on the strength of the Bhagavatam that by process of hearing from a disciplic succession, from a bona fide hearing, that is called bona fide hearing means from a disciplic succession, from spiritual master to disciple, not for any type of hearing. So by hearing bona fide hearing, one can easily stop this repeated birth and death. This obnoxious misery, this excruciating pain, this unpleasant obnoxious condition of life can be counteracted simply by process of hearing. Nothing else. It's so easy, so sublime process that we can become deathlessness. The process of hearing. Beautiful verses this one. This is the importance of hearing Krishna Katha. One can easily cross. There are so many verses in this regard. It is stated that very nice verse. Yani te charitani sa manusya sadhava kalo sinbanta kitayanta chatarishanti arjan satamaha. My dear Lord, whose pious and saintly person who in the age of Kali hear about your transcendental activities, also glorify them, easily cross over the darkness of the age. What a beautiful verse. Sravant manti kathanti cha. By simply process of hearing and glorifying the pious and saintly person, the devotees in this age of Kali, which is very difficult to cross. This age is very difficult to cross. But because it's the age of darkness, Kali is darkness full of tamasima, murta full of death, darkness, debilitating, devastating, deteriorating is. One can easily cross simply by process of Hearing Krishna Katha. Ear is the gateway to liberation. Ear is the expressway. Hearing is the expressway to Godhead. Expressway on becoming deathless. That is called hearing. So everybody should hear it. Attentively hear. Prabhupada always gives trace. Without hearing we cannot sustain our spiritual life. Without preaching, without glorifying the Lord. We cannot sustain our spiritual life. It becomes dry and fall down. We cannot. It becomes formal. It, it becomes so bottle. Sunday devotees, quoted, unquoted. So therefore, we must hear Krishna Katha. Then all our dirty things, all our desire, eh, which is impeding us, which is covering our knowledge, which is making us in darkness, will dissipate it. This is stated in the same chapter, you know. It's a beautiful verse is that Tavaka Tavabi Kriditam Krishna Ninam Parama Mangalam 
कर्णा पीयूषम आसाद्या त्यजन्ति अनस अन्य स्पृहम जनाः माय डियर कृष्णा योर पास्ट टाइम आई एम सुप्रीमली अस्पेशियस फॉर मेन काइंड आर एन इन आर एन इंटॉक्सिकेटिंग बेवरेज फॉर द यस टेस्टिंग सच पास्ट टाइम पीपल फॉरगेट देयर डिजायर फॉर अदर थिंग्स विल फॉरगेट अदर थिंग्स ओनली हियर एंड बिकम डेथलेसनेस नेक्स्ट लाइफ इज स्पिरिचुअल बॉडी गो बैक टू वैकुंठ जस्ट स्लीप प्रोपास दे जस्ट स्लीप death like a death means sleep a long sleep so we will sleep and get up in the vaikuntha or krishna lok that is krishna consciousness process that is the important benefit to man this stupendous benefit of hearing krishna katha so so beautiful verses is a nectar verses pearls of wisdom shrimad bhagavatam is giving to human form of life not to anybody human form of life as a prerogative therefore it is say that this beautiful verses how human form of life is should be nicely utilized 1061 something today 106341 this is beautiful verses devadatam imam labba nilokam everything nilokam ajitendriha yanatriyata tatpado sasacha hi atma manchakah one who has attained the human form of life is a gift from the god it's a gift yet who fails to control his sense and honor your feet is surely to be pitied for he is only cheating himself if one is not krishna consciousness one is not interested in hearing krishna katha he is cheating his self deceiving is self defeating he is cheating himself and defeating himself defeating himself to conquer the death to become deathless human form of life is meant for punar janma jaya aya how to conquer this repeated birth and death how to cease the birth and death therefore kunti ma kunti kunti devi is very nicely speaking uh, quoting this beautiful statement sinbanti gayanti sinbanti gayanti grinanti beautiful verses for that uh, sinbanti gayanti grinanti abhiksna saha smaranti nandanti tavahitam janaha tai bapasyanti achire natavakam bhava prabah paramam bhava prabah paramam padam budam o krishna those who continuously hear chant repeat your transcendental activity or take pleasure in others doing so certainly see your lord spirit which alone can stop the repetition of birth this is the formula hearing about krishna katha the transcendental activities eh? hari lilamrutam piyate niloke hari lilamrutam katha the krishna katha the transcendental activities of the lord the wonderful activities of the lord when one is hearing this then he is stopping the repetition of birth death. that is the formula is given on becoming deathless this is the kunti devi is beautifully praying you continuously hear chant your uh, transcendental activities so therefore this only point of that propa say that this this krishna consciousness is very important krishna consciousness means shravanam kirtanam vishnu krishna consciousness means executing bhakti bhakti means shravanam kirtanam vishnu simply you have to hear and glorify the hari by this process one can become deathlessness this is therefore is the this 11 canto krishna say that our duty should be always chanting and glorifying shravanam kirtanam dhyanam hare radbhuta karmana janma karma gunanam cha tadarthe akhila cheshtita beautiful verses one should hear glorify meditate upon the wonderful transcendental activity of the lord one should specially become absorbed in appearance activity quality of holy name of supreme personality of god so therefore one should perform all inspired one does inspired one should perform all one's daily activities in an offering to the lord one should perform sacrifice charity penance every this beautiful verses it is say that this is the process that one should do that hearing chanting everybody should do this human being means one must hear and chant glorify the lord चिन्मतम सुकथा कृष्ण पुण्य श्रवण कीर्तन हृदय स्थानीय भद्रा विधुनाथ इट विल क्लीन दि डाटी थिंग एंड वी गेट 
tamasima jyotir gama we get the knowledge we get the bhakti jasang bhai sri ama naam krishna parama purusha bhakti utpad de pushpa tum tum sam soko moh bhayo pa the process of hearing will cleanse our heart tamasima jyotir gama it will gives us knowledge not only knowledge it gives us bhakti satamas asadama sad gama sad means hari hari is the absolute truth all things are very uh, uh, untruth everything else is untruth satyam paramadimahi satyam paramadimahi lord is absolute truth is the truth satyam ratam satyam param he is satya he is only truth ram naam satya he as we say always at the time of death after the death but before the death we should chant ram naam satya he that is the satya so therefore you get you get this platform simply by hearing process so then when sukadev goswami is asking this question that uh, kim karyasya mriyamanam a person who is about to die what is his duty then sukadev goswami is giving a very nice solution we will end up this beautiful verses from sukadev goswami who is the author of who is who is the doctor actually who is giving the medicine to the death bound king parikit maharaj तस्माद भारत सर्वात्मा भगवान ईश्वर हरि स्वतेव कितितव्य च स्मत्तेव इच्छतम अभयम स्वते स्मत्तव्य इच्छतम अभयम ब्यूटीफुल वर्स तस्माद भारत सर्वात्मा भगवान ईश्वर हरि स्वतेव कितितव्य च स्मत्तेव इच्छतम अभयम ओ डिसेंडेंट ऑफ किंग भारत भरत one who desires to be free from misery must hear about what is the misery the death is a misery obnoxious principle misery is death krishna says jan janma murtu jara vyadhi dos dosan darshanam must hear about glorify also remember personality of godhead who is the super soul the controller and savior from all misery this is the formula simply the process of hearing by process of hearing attentively in a disciplic succession one can immune to death one can come to the platform of deathlessness amrita gamaya mutyam amrita gamaya so this is the beautiful solution beautiful prescription beautiful uh, process method way is given by shrimad bhagavatam that how to come in to become deathlessness so so we will end this uh, beautiful uh, topics and beautiful explanation from shrimad bhagavatam thank you very much hare krishna all go to shrimad bhagavatam gandhara shrimad bhagavatam ki jai